here. This might be part one of this video. I'm thinking about doing something else here. So as you see what's hooked up in the back, we got the boat is hooked up in the back and I am actually going to look at another boat. So this might be, if this, you're watching this, that means that it went through and the video came out. So we'll see, stay tuned, but we're taking the good old bass tracker, might trade her in, stay tuned. All right, so I just dropped off the bass tracker at the dealer, they wanna test drive it. Good thing is they gave me an offer on it, which is more than I owe, so I'll break even with I'll break even and cover the taxes on the new boat pretty much. But they let me keep all my Garmin's, my Garmin Live Scope, and my Raptors in that price. So I get to put all that stuff on the new boat. I can tell you what it is yet. Uh, I'm headed back to work because I just left work for three hours and I gotta get back to work. But if you like I said this video's up, that means that we're looking good. I'm waiting for the bank to get back to me on some numbers. We'll go from there. So head back to the dealer. We'll have more of this video soon, so stay tuned. All right, it is day number two, and I dropped off my boat. They went over it. Kind of happy with the price they gave me for it, but whatever, it's paid off, and I made some money on it, but whatever. So, everything went through. I should be picking up the new boat tomorrow. So I have to take the, the bass tracker back. I have to take off my garments, take off my live scope, take off the Raptors and take all my stuff out, then bring it back. Then tomorrow I will go pick up the brand new boat. You'll see what it is. <sighs> I'm tired. I left work early because uh, air conditioning wasn't working in the shop, so they're fixing that. But uh, I should be home and I'm gonna strip all this stuff off the boat. And then hopefully I'll drop it back off at the dealer and then come back home and in the morning go pick up the new boat. So stay tuned and you will see what the new boat is. We are here. We are at Nobles Marine in Leesburg. And the boat should be ready. A little bit of paperwork got to sign and we should be good. Let's see how this goes. Put up my darn window. This is Nobles Marine in Leesburg. My boat should be getting ready. Should be ready to pick up and go inside, deal with the person, I'm, my salesperson. And hopefully we'll be driving away with a new boat. Fast trackers on the back, ready to get given away. So stay tuned. All right, got your disconnected. She's going bye-bye. I'm gonna miss her. She did me good, caught a lot of big bass, caught my personal best in that damn thing right there, you know? But like I said, we're at Nobles Marine over here in Leesburg. I just gotta go sign some paperwork. They said they're washing down the boat now, so just gotta wait for them to clean the boat up. And we should be good. Hopefully everything goes good. Hopefully I have a good review of this place. They are kind of cheap though. They didn't even want to give me a full tank of gas in the boat. But I mean, that is what it is. They're gonna hook up my boat now and the bass tracker. And take it to the back, check compression, which I know it runs fine, but she's right there. She's ready to get taken back in. So probably gonna go inside. Take a look at the stuff they have for sale. Let's go in the parts department, waste some time. I was gonna get the Z19 up front, but the Z19 is, it's a big difference, man. Versus the 20, it, it is a lot of difference. The 20 to 21 isn't that much difference, but the, the 18, or the 18 to the 20 is a big difference, but let's go inside. Morning. How you doing? Fine, sir. 
They got a big parts department here. Walk around, waste some time. There she goes. The new boat, Nitro Z21. Oh, Z20, I'm sorry. 21, $10,000 more than paying that. Put the stuff back in the truck. And go back inside, go over the braking process and stuff. So head back inside. Service line one, service line one. Once again, this is Nobles in Leesburg. So my boat is already taken away. Go back inside, go over the braking process with this boat with the guy and hook it up to the truck and be gone head home stay tuned i just went over the warranty stuff all the maintenance stuff with the boat <clears throat> just got to make sure my ball hitch is right I said it was a two inch and make sure i got a two inch on my boat on the truck right now I don't know what I got on the truck. Let me see what we got on there. We got a, a one and seven eighths. I gotta change that out. Give me a second. Alright, so I had the wrong size ball hitch. I had a one and seven eighths on my boat, and this is a two inch, but it's the boat right here. It's got the Lorentz in the front. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna put my my other graph here, I'm gonna put the Garmin stuff on there and put the Garmin in the front. And I'm going to take out this unit and put the Garmin here and just keep this. I'll probably take this and put it in the front and have three units in the front and just keep that. But got that 250 on there. Looking good, looking good. I mean, I busted my ass, man. Me and my wife really fished a lot in that bass track. Are we gonna miss it? But you know, it is what it is, you know? But there she is. I'm gonna get it hooked up. Once again, this is Noble Marine in Leesburg. They were pretty good. Only thing is like, I got a little upset and they wouldn't give me a full tank of gas in the boat. I mean, it's a 50 gallon, but I mean, come on, man. This boat right here costs, this is a $70,000 boat after you pay all your taxes and stuff, but whatever. I mean, they couldn't do it. It is what it is. I'm not gonna break a deal over a half over three quarters of a tank or half a tank of gas but uh let me get this ball hitch switched out and we'll get it hooked up and we'll get on our way all right stay tuned all right she's hooked up to the boat she's hooked up to the truck fixing to take it home now we gotta go home put on the raptors put on my garment stuff so stay tuned we got a new boat we out all right, we just got the bass tracker back home and I've already mounted on the Raptors. Just have to get them all, all the hoses in. I'm probably gonna drill, uh, probably run the hoses right in here because I got these grommets that I could put in there. So, but next I'm gonna put on the pumps. Stay tuned. All right, so we got, got the power pole pumps installed. Oh, I'm sorry, the Raptor. Encoda Raptor pumps installed in there. You know, I try to make the wire as neat as possible. I probably got to neaten up a little back there, but that's all done. Now I'm gonna take out this unit, paste it with the Garmin, and eventually I'm gonna get a bracket to hold both of the units here. And I'm gonna put uh, the Garmin unit here on the Panther mount and keep that one there and run all fresh power live scans, transducer, a lot of wiring, so stay tuned. What's up, what's up? It's early in the morning, I want to try to film this video before it gets too hot. It's Florida, it's been like 100 degrees by like 10 o'clock, so. So we got everything done on the nitro. Everything transferred over, took it out for a test run yesterday, and ugh, that was a hot mess. I don't even want to get into that, but just my stupidity and the bad current loading the, loading the boat. But um, all right, yeah, so we'll get right to it now. So we got 
both uh, mounts, both units put on right here. All right, we got the Garmin, which is for my live scope. All right, and we have, we put our power pole pedals in. We have the Lorenz unit that came on the boat and I have to put the other one on and I'll explain to you why in a minute. Uh, we have the live scope and the active target. Okay, I haven't used this one yet and I'll explain to you why in a minute. All right. So we got that done. Then at the helm, we got the 12 inch unit swapped out from the Lorenz unit. Now, now here's what I'm gonna do because I was gonna keep the other Lorenz unit as a backup unit, but I can't. Because when I try to use the active target or anything, basically the active target trend, uh, box, which is down in here, goes to well, we used to go to this unit first which the wires are just tucked back in there then it networked to the front unit and the active target transducer has to read off of the box to the front unit I mean to the helm unit to the front unit so I so what I'm doing is I'm gonna buy a dual mount here and I'm gonna put the Garmin and the Lorentz next to it that's what I'm gonna do okay so we got that unit put in we got the mount for the Encoder Raptors right there. Okay, back of the boat. We got the Encoder Raptors on. Okay, as you can see, they work good. And you can see I hit hit the motor yesterday. I'm not used to that hot foot, man. I backed into the damn dock. Whatever. I want. To, I'll do it from the video on that, but. You got the Raptors on, okay? And now we'll go onto the boat and I'll show you how I routed um, everything else. Hey, chicken. All right, I also put my, there's a video on this, put my new grab handle on that. This trolling motor is hard to get used to, man, but it's, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> So we have the two units here. Let me open this up. All right. So as you can see, we have the live scope unit right here, <coughs> and we have the active target unit there, which is not working right now. It, it, it turns on, but it's not working because it's networked to the front unit, which I have to put on. Well, you can see all the wiring is pretty neat. Easier, much more easier to wire stuff in this boat than the bass tracker. So, we got both those units on. Okay, wired up nice. Have a big block right there to catch all the power coming in. Alright. That's how we mounted that. Alright, let me just put this back. Now in the front, I mean in the back, I'm going to go over how we put the power pole pumps. So what we did for the power pole pumps is, all right, here. All right we got the power pole pumps mounted, they're really tight. We got one pump here and one pump there. Easy to access, easy to maintain everything is perfect now what I did with the trolling motor is I don't need a 36 volt trolling motor I mean no one needs fucking 112 pound thrust my regular 80 pound thrust will throw you off the boat so I I jumped these back and made it a 24 volt trolling motor and I took took it off of that battery which was the 36 volt and now I use that battery right there strictly for my graphs and my live scope. So that's the only thing that that battery runs. And it all charges on the, the NOCO charger, which is back there. Okay. So that, that's one thing I definitely did. I don't need... I honestly don't need a 
36 volt trolling motor. Honestly, it's like, why? Why do you need that much thrust for a trolling motor? Seriously. But as you can see, we got the both units right here. I can see them. That one's crooked. I gotta, I gotta slide this one back. But you can see that both units there. Everything is hooked up there. Everything's pretty clean. You know, I got this unit mounted good in there. But I'm gonna put the dual units here. So that should be pretty cool. I wonder how long this ice stayed. It stayed all night. Yep, cooler stayed all night with ice. Awesome. Well, that's pretty much the nitro. I'm gonna do a <coughs> a walkthrough of the whole boat. How I got everything in my storage unit. So that'll be a whole different video. But <laughs> I just got. Oh my, we on it. I'm always yawning. I'm always tired. But that's pretty much uh that's pretty much the video. A fire rigged everything up. It took me a full day to do everything. And I'll go over the whole boat, what options it has and stuff like that. Uh, I'll go over that soon. So uh, that is the Nitro. That is the new boat. We traded in the Bass Tracker. It's a sad day. The Bass Tracker did good for us. And I, I want another video of why I did that. Why I did that trading. And the bads and the goods. And the, re the main reason that made you want to trade them. But I'll do that video in a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have been with me a while. Stay tuned. I'll have a lot more videos. But it's a new boat. Happy with it. Out.